Look at this. We've just stumbled upon an impala that's just given birth. The uterus, the, 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 the impala is still just just dropped out mom's eating the afterbirth look at that the head's just popping up i mean that impala has literally just popped out look at mom she's eating the afterbirth look at the little one it's still so wobbly Ears are starting to flick. I mean, this is, this is, we must have got here seconds after she gave birth. It's about to stand up for the first time. We're going to see this impala stand up for the first time ever. And this is live. There's mom eating the afterbirth. Now, there's a couple of reasons why female antelope will eat the afterbirth. Number one, they re gain a lot of nutrients N number two it helps disguise the area from predators uh, that one little branch in the way I'm just gonna move forward half a meter for you there Dave how's that better there we go look at that she's gonna now clean lick and eat what afterbirth's left Now, even though Impala give birth all the time, this is not something you see very often. Look at that. Look, look at her eating the afterbirth off the baby. That's a very high in protein, so she's going to regain some of the nutrients carrying a baby. And as again, I said, it, it, it helps mask the smell or, and, and hide it from predators. Instinct is taking over. It wants to stand up. Now, within 10, 15 minutes, this little impala is going to be able to run. I just find that absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so sweet. Look, there we go, there we go. It's trying to rock onto its legs. Could be some afterbirth still tying its legs together. Oh, look at that little shiver! Welcome back, and look at this, isn't this incredible? A female impala has just... This baby is trying to get up. You can see mom's eating the afterbirth out of her uterus, making sure there's no scrap left, regaining all the protein. Let's see if that baby's... It's, this is going to be its first... Oh, no! Shame, it's still trying to stand up. There's mom licking, coaxing. Are we going to see this baby impala's first steps ever? We're going to see it hopefully gain its feet for the first time in its life. This impala is minutes old even its ears look too big for its body at the moment come little one there we go there we go come on you can do it Mom's going to continue eating after birth. 
Come on, you can do it, little guy. Yes, come on. Don't worry, take a minute. There we go, draw yourself towards yourself. On the knees, on the knees. Oh, no, not yet. And you can see mom making sure there's no afterbirth left. There we go, there we go. Nearly there. Oh, shame. <laughs> Guys, this is normal. Um, this this is, is very normal for, for Impala. It does take a few minutes for them to gain their feet. There we go, there we go. <laughs> there we go, first on four legs. Oh my goodness. The first steps ever of this tiny baby Impala. They are very wobbly. It's hard to think by the end of the day it's going to be running around, leaping and jumping. What are these things called legs? I know I'm supposed to <laughs> use them, but I don't know how. Hi, Ma. Nice to meet you. So confused. He's not. Really, it looks like I'm, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're gonna. Have another attempt at standing up shortly. What opportune timing. Of course, this is when a baby impala is at its most vulnerable, these minutes after birth, while it still learns to regain its feet. Not to regain, to gain its feet for the first time, and we've seen some quite clumsy stumbles. Red is wondering, are female impala the only animals to eat after birth? Uh, not at all red, actually. Wildebeest, zebra. Oh! oh. Uh, most of the herbivores uh, will eat their own after birth. Nyala, bushbuck. Absolutely incredible. Okay, there we go. Come on, little one. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that on its feet. How many seconds this time? Look how it's standing with widespread legs trying to find its feet. Oh, there we go. this oh oh there we go mom's gonna give you a little kiss clean it's amazing how it, 
<laughs> Look at how wide the legs are. Oh, 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 oh. That's amazing. We are so privileged to be able to witness these type of things. Okay. I'm going to try and move forward a tiny bit. How's that, Dave? Look at that. It almost looks like it's already looking for milk. There we go. Is it, are we going to see not only the first steps, but the first drink? Don't think it's cool. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, shame. There we go. Much quicker back to the feet this time. Kelly is wondering whether this is a boy or a girl. Kelly, I can't actually see at the moment. Uh, it's too young and I can't see any distinguishing features. So I'm not sure yet, Kelly. It's going to be very difficult to tell, especially since we're watching through a bush. Isn't that just too wonderful? Mom cleaning up what's left of the afterbirth, licking the baby. Ranger would like to know, is this a first for Dave? Dave, is this a first? Yeah, most definitely. It is a first for Dave. Oh, oh, has it found the nipples? Has it found the teeth? It's amazing how that instinct to suckle is already there. And this, this little creature is minutes old, not even 10 minutes old yet. We're probably closing on 10 minutes old now. Oh, stumble, stumble. Shiver. This is absolutely incredible. David, David would like to know. Look, there we go. There we go. The first drink, little, little first, little suckle. David, sorry. Um, David's wondering. Once the calf is able to move, will she return to the rest of the herd? She will. They're not far away. They're about 150 meters away, and it's not. It's 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 quite normal for a female impala to just move away from the herd a little bit when she gives birth. Look at that, he's already, or she, has already found the teeth and is already suckling. William, I agree with you completely. It is amazing how the little ones are able, unable to find food. Yet that instinct must just be so powerful. I mean, not even minutes old and no direction needed to where to find mom's milk. This is absolutely incredible and aren't we incredibly lucky to witness this live in Impala's first steps and Impala's first to drink. Good job mom.
<laughs> Yawn. Oh, this is tiring business. <laughs> Thanks very much, Dan. Um, yes, well, the moment we saw this, we also forgot about the competition, but Dan says we win the competition hands down. Well, I don't know, Dan. We, we didn't have the number of species Taylor has, but I'm happy to lose for a sighting like this. Mom's still quite vigilant, making sure there isn't another potential predator around. She's still giving that little baby lots of licks, lots of cleaning. I mean, you can see how thin the skin is in that tendon. You can you can actually see almost through with the light on the back legs of that baby. That's us. Now we can still see a bit of the umbilical cord ha hanging there, and Ali is wondering how long does it take for the umbilical cord to fall off. Uh, Ali it normally falls off within the first few days, but sometimes it does last a little bit longer. Oh. There we go, gaining the feet, gaining confidence. This is absolutely incredible. Now we're about to go into a short break and we are definitely not going to go anywhere we're going to stay here with this incredible sighting of an impala taking its first steps its first drink and uh, this is just too much it's, it's almost indescribable so we're going to not move if you want to see if this impala is frolicking shortly join us after the break Of course, this is that was a pretend advert break, so we're not going anywhere. We're still with this wonderful little impala. I'm gonna try and move slightly, see if we can get a, a better view. Um, try backwards first. See if we've got a gap behind that zizzy fuss or buffalo thorn. Here we go. Still so unstable on its legs. Hello, little one. Welcome. Welcome to a sunny South Africa. And you've made the day a little bit brighter. Mm. Once upon a time says, this little impala chose a beautiful day to be born. I agree with you and the day is just that little bit more beautiful for this impala birth. forward slightly oh look at that well it's finding its feet quite quick we're gonna stay here but let's go see what Steph's up to on his feet